User centricity refers to designing with the user's needs, behaviors, and emotions at the forefront. This principle is rooted in empathy and research. It involves deeply understanding your users through methods like interviews, surveys, and behavioral analytics. Designers must get inside the user's mind to craft experiences that solve their problems and fulfill their desires. User-centric design goes beyond surface-level preferences. It requires mapping out user journeys, identifying pain points, and anticipating the emotional states users will experience as they interact with the product. By focusing on these insights, design can evolve to become more than just functional. It becomes intuitive and emotionally resonant. Netflix uses this approach to build personalized user experiences. By understanding user behavior and preferences, it recommends content that feels curated specifically for each individual. Airbnb follows a similar strategy, designing interfaces that cater equally to hosts and guests, two user groups with very different needs and goals. Clarity and simplicity are essential principles that focus on reducing cognitive load for users. A clear and simple design ensures that users can quickly understand the interface, find what they need, and perform tasks without unnecessary complications. In UX or UI design, clarity involves stripping away superfluous elements, avoiding jargon, and communicating with users in a straightforward manner. Simplicity, on the other hand, involves reducing the number of steps it takes for a user to complete a task. This doesn't mean removing features, but refining the user interface so that only the most essential components are presented at any given time. Clear and simple designs avoid overwhelming the user with choices or information, allowing them to focus on what truly matters. Google's homepage exemplifies clarity and simplicity. With just a search bar and minimal navigation, users are directed to the core function, searching the web, without distractions. Slack also embodies these principles by creating a straightforward communication tool that cuts out complexity, allowing teams to focus on their messages and collaboration. Consistency in UX or UI design refers to maintaining uniformity across all aspects of the product. This involves consistency in visual elements such as color schemes, typography, and button styles, as well as consistency in interaction patterns, terminology, and feedback. The goal is to ensure that users feel comfortable and familiar with the interface, no matter where they are in the product. Consistency helps reduce the learning curve for users because once they've understood one part of the interface, they can apply that knowledge to the rest. It also builds trust by ensuring that the design behaves predictably across various touch points. Designers use design systems and guidelines to ensure that consistency is maintained throughout the product's evolution. Apple is a strong example of consistency. Whether you're using an iPhone, iPad, or Mac, the interface and design language are familiar, allowing users to transition between devices seamlessly. Spotify achieves the same through its uniform interface across platforms. Whether on mobile or desktop, users know exactly how to interact with the app. Feedback is the system's way of communicating with the user in response to their actions. It's a crucial principle that helps users feel in control by letting them know their inputs have been received and processed. Feedback can be visual, auditory, or tactile, and it ranges from subtle animations to explicit confirmation messages. Effective feedback reassures users that they are on the right path or, conversely, alerts them when something needs their attention. Feedback loops help prevent confusion, reduce anxiety, and create a smoother, more intuitive interaction. Whether it's showing a spinner while content is loading or changing the color of a button when clicked, feedback keeps users engaged. Facebook uses subtle visual feedback with its like animations, ensuring users feel their input is acknowledged. Dropbox provides clear progress bars during file uploads, reducing uncertainty by showing exactly how much time remains until the task is complete. Accessibility focuses on creating inclusive designs that allow everyone, regardless of ability or disability, to use the product effectively. Accessibility is about removing barriers so that people with visual, auditory, cognitive, or motor impairments can still have a positive experience. Designing for accessibility involves considering a wide range of needs, such as providing screen reader compatibility, ensuring keyboard navigation, adding alt text for images, and offering high contrast color schemes for users with visual impairments. Inclusive design also requires that error messages and feedback are clearly communicated and easy to understand for all users, regardless of their abilities. 
Microsoft's Xbox Adaptive Controller is a great example of accessibility in action. It provides users with physical disabilities the ability to play games with customizable controls. Apple's VoiceOver feature is another key accessibility tool, allowing visually impaired users to navigate iOS devices via audio cues and gestures. Visual hierarchy is the arrangement of elements on a page to prioritize the most important information first. Designers use size, color, contrast, and positioning to create a visual flow that naturally guides users' attention to key actions or content. This principle is vital for making interfaces intuitive and helping users process information efficiently. The idea behind visual hierarchy is that not all information is of equal importance. By emphasizing certain elements, like making a call to action button large and brightly colored, designers ensure that users focus on the essential parts of the interface first. The New York Times applies a visual hierarchy to its homepage by making headlines and top stories larger and more visually striking than secondary news items. Headspace's meditation app uses calming colors and large buttons to create a clear, guided experience, helping users stay focused on their meditation without distractions. Usability refers to how effectively, efficiently, and satisfactorily users can achieve their goals using a product. A usable design is one where users can complete tasks with minimal friction, confusion, or frustration. Usability is often evaluated through testing and iteration, refining the interface until it's easy and intuitive for users to navigate. A key aspect of usability is reducing the number of actions or steps it takes to achieve a task. Every interaction should feel natural and smooth, allowing the user to remain focused on their goals rather than the mechanics of the interface. Amazon's one-click purchasing system exemplifies excellent usability by simplifying the checkout process to a single action. Google Docs also strikes a balance between power and simplicity, allowing users to collaborate and edit documents in real time without getting bogged down by complex features. Flexibility and efficiency relate to how well a product adapts to different users and allows them to accomplish tasks quickly. Flexibility means that the interface provides options for both novice and experienced users, offering basic and advanced features without overwhelming either group. Efficiency refers to how fast a user can complete a task, often aided by shortcuts or customization options. A flexible design is scalable, offering a range of ways to achieve the same goal depending on the user's experience level. Efficiency often comes into play for power users who rely on the product daily and need advanced tools to speed up their workflows. Photoshop exemplifies this principle by catering to a wide range of users, from beginners making simple edits to professionals working with complex layers and automation. Excel is similarly flexible, offering basic calculation tools for casual users and advanced formulas, macros, and pivot tables for power users. Aesthetic minimalism is a design philosophy focused on simplicity, reducing a task to only the most essential elements. This principle isn't just about making things look sleek or modern, it's about creating a cleaner, more usable experience by eliminating unnecessary distractions. Minimalist designs make it easier for users to focus on the content or task at hand. By prioritizing white space, clean lines, and clear typography, designers can guide users through the interface without overwhelming them with information. Instagram's interface is a strong example of aesthetic minimalism. The app focuses primarily on content, photos, and videos, while minimizing distractions like excessive buttons or complex menus. Medium takes a similar approach by emphasizing a distraction-free reading and writing experience. Error prevention and recovery ensure that users can either avoid mistakes or easily correct them when they happen. Error prevention involves designing interfaces that make it difficult for users to make mistakes in the first place, such as by using confirmations for destructive actions. Error recovery focuses on giving users the tools to correct mistakes, such as an undo button or clear error messages. Good error prevention design is proactive, anticipating where users might go wrong and providing guardrails to keep them on track. Error recovery ensures that when users do slip up, they aren't stuck with a problem they can't fix. Gmail's undo send feature allows users to retract an email after sending it, preventing potential embarrassment. Figma's version history allows designers to revert to previous versions of their work, offering a safety net against errors that could otherwise cost hours of lost progress. 
Mobile responsiveness refers to the ability of a design to adapt seamlessly across devices and screens. A responsive design ensures that users have a consistent, usable experience whether they're on a desktop computer, tablet, or smartphone. Mobile responsiveness is crucial in today's digital world, where users expect to interact with products on the go. A responsive design adjusts to different screen sizes, maintaining usability and aesthetics without sacrificing functionality. Airbnb's app provides the same intuitive experience on mobile as it does on the desktop, with layouts and buttons that adapt to smaller screens. Google Maps also demonstrates excellent mobile responsiveness, providing consistent navigation tools regardless of the device being used. Task-oriented design focuses on guiding users toward completing specific tasks quickly and easily. This principle revolves around designing with a clear objective in mind, ensuring that every interaction leads users closer to their goal without unnecessary distractions or complications. Task-oriented design streamlines workflows and reduces unnecessary complexity. It's about making sure that users know what to do next and how to do it, ultimately providing a satisfying sense of progress and accomplishment. TurboTax is a great example of task-oriented design. It breaks down the complex task of filing taxes into simple, manageable steps, guiding users through the process with clear instructions. Trello helps users organize and manage their projects effectively, offering drag-and-drop cards and checklists to keep users focused on task completion. Learnability refers to how easy it is for users to grasp and master a product. A highly learnable design allows users to quickly understand how to navigate and interact with the product, requiring minimal instruction or prior knowledge. Learnability is closely tied to familiarity and intuitiveness. By leveraging familiar patterns and clear cues, designers can create interfaces that users feel comfortable with right away. The faster users can learn how to use a product, the more likely they are to continue using it. Spotify's user-friendly interface makes it easy for new users to jump in and start streaming music immediately. Apple's iPhone design is similarly learnable, with intuitive gestures and a simple home screen that first-time users can navigate without needing a manual. Great design isn't just about aesthetics, it's about creating experiences that feel effortless and intuitive. When these principles work together, they create designs that don't just meet user needs, they anticipate them. That's when design disappears and all that's left is the experience.